hello friends so welcome again to another session on factorization and uh, in this uh, session we are going to discuss uh, another type of question where we are going to use grouping the terms to factorize so let us say you have been given this particular question now uh, on a you know first observation doesn't look like there is any common factors to be pulled out which we saw last session so then we can try uh, one thing is uh, another thing to note here is uh, the powers of a here is going down one by one isn't it so it might give you a uh, indication that we have to group the term so if you see power of a goes from 3 to 2 then to 1 and then to 0 here right so that could be an indication so what we can first do is let us first simplify it right and then we will club so i'm writing it here club the variables together club the variables Okay, so here variables are x, y, and z. So let us try to club them together and, if we see, and let's see if we can extract out some common factors. So now, now uh, before we, you know, start the solution, please bear this thing in mind that, you know, there is no protocol or there are no uh, fixed route of factorization. So you have to try out all the options which is there in your, uh, you know, disposal and see whether any one of that can you know help you factorize it so hence don't think that okay uh, there would be step one step two step three so you have to learn different types of factorization methods and then probably you know uh, with experience when you solve multiple number of problems so uh, you'll get a feel or you'll get a you know sense of factorization so hence don't lose heart if you are not able to solve it in the very first go so let us try and solve this now so what i said to you is you club the variables together so before that you just open up all the brackets so it is a square y minus a y minus a z minus z please be very very careful careful with the signs because i have observed in my teaching experience that most of the students make mistakes not in finding the method right method to factorize but some some slight error here and there and then they end up losing that question itself so hence please be very very careful while you are dealing with signs okay now so can i now club these two together yes x is the common variable and uh, to our you know uh, surprise we have we, we see a cube and a square so there are two a's common as well so hence a square x is the common factor isn't it so a square x is common factor so what is left behind is nothing but a plus one right now in the second thing we can take minus a y common isn't it a y is common so hence again you'll see a plus one now we are getting some beautiful results here so if i get the same a plus one in third which we'll indeed get if you take minus z then we have been able to find out one common factor and that is a plus one so let us take a plus one as common factor and then within brackets what is it a square x minus a y minus z isn't it so this is the factorization we arrived at uh, then this is clearly one factor we just need to check whether we can really go for factorization of the next uh, term as well but it looks like you know it's very difficult to find out because z is an independent uh, term over here there is no z anywhere same for x and y so we will have to stop here so we got the factorization like this this is the method by grouping the terms similarly let us give you another another example let us say the question is uh, x minus y whole square okay and minus 5 let's say minus 5 um, x minus y minus let's say x uh, uh, let's have 5z let us keep it like 5z x minus y and uh, what else let us say there is um i can say x minus y okay and um so this is because i am framing the question myself so let us say okay let me keep it like this so not no z so let us say x minus y whole square and then minus 5 x minus y and then let's say minus z here minus z x minus y plus plus 5 let's say z okay so now let's see if we can really factorize this 
so again prima facie it looks like uh, the power of 2 is decreasing here then same similar type of decrease of power here so can we club these two together so let's do that so if you see x minus y you take you take common so what is left within is something but x minus y and then minus 5 isn't it and here also if you can take z common you'll get x minus y minus 5 so again we got these two terms are common so hence i can write this as x minus y minus 5 times x minus y this term first here and then minus z this term comes here so now you see a uh, polynomial is reduced to its factors right how do i know it is factor because see there are two terms or two brackets and uh, you know it's a multiplication of two two expression right so so hence x minus y so in the last session we discussed this we can write this as x minus 5 x minus y minus 5 divides let us say this this entire thing was fx so instead of writing full thing i'm writing x minus y minus 5 divides fx similarly x minus y minus z divides fx okay so i hope you understood the method